It's the SEC on ESPN, and it's the final of the SEC tournament from Nashville, Tennessee. All a part of championship week presented by Dick Sporting Goods. And what a week it has been. The matchup this afternoon, the Bulldogs of Mississippi State and the Wildcats of Kentucky for the SEC tournament crowd. Here's how these two teams reach this point. In yesterday's semifinal, it was Kentucky in a cakewalk over Tennessee. Mississippi State had to battle, but they beat Bandy by 10, and here they are again for the second year in a row trying to win the SEC Tournament Championship. Here's Augustus on another steal, but it's ripped right back by John Wall. Bledsoe underneath. Early in this game. Patterson baseline jumper, got it. Patrick Patterson's first field goal. As the season has Hudson with a rebound, he just checked in for Kentucky. All alone is Patrick Patterson. Somebody got a little bit lazy in transition on defense. Off the bench. Dodson stripped by Beanock. Loose ball picked up by Wall and tipped in finally by Orton. Kentucky rebounds about 45% of their misses. That's a very high percentage. Patterson, they try to strip him down low, and it doesn't work. Grant, he didn't ask for the ball. He demanded yeah. the basketball. That he Phil Turner, the lob, and Osby missed in close. And now it's two on one, Wall and Patterson. Patterson, got it! Watch Patrick Patterson on the left side of your screen. That is demanding the basketball. You're almost embarrassed if you're a perimeter player not to give it to him when he exposes his numbers that easily. And Patrick Patterson says, happy birthday to me. Let's check in with Janine Edwards. So you're going to keep the pressure on and try to wear down the legs of Mississippi State. Whoa, Cody Augustus went strong. DeMarcus Cousins went stronger. You're not going to posterize me. Like trying to get a shot off over Shrek. <laughs> He's going to protect that rim, and he is so good at taking charge. Kentucky's got numbers coming the other way. Ligon, spot up three. Got it. Oh, it's a two. Just inside the line. That's the confidence John Calipari wants out of every one of them. And DeMarcus Cousins, the big fella for Kentucky, on the bench with two fouls. Long stride. By DeAndre, by four, they're back in front. Patterson, just a touch pass to the other big guy. What a look by Patrick Pat. Orton hit the last one. Orton hit the next one. The freshman from Oklahoma City has got six. By either team right now, Mississippi State by five. Wall works his way underneath and scores. That's his first basket. That one, a little bit of emotion, huh? With his alma mater winning the Big East Tournament Championship. Dotson three, got it. Donnell Dotson. That wall waiting for Patterson to get down low. Bledsoe's going to take it with a left hand, though, and roll it in. Again, there's a lot of talking going on, and John Wall stepped up and said, hey, hey, listen to coach. John Wall becoming the leader that John Calipari needs. Bledsoe took it coast to coast. And we're tied again. Let's check in with Janine on the Mississippi State huddle on the last time out. But we've got 20 more to go. I know Mississippi State is grouped in there with four or five teams for those last two spots. They passed my eye test. Bledsoe waits for Wall to come around a pick. Gave it right back to Bledsoe for three. That's the way you start off the second half. Anytime, uh, Brad, he's taking the ball out of bounds, and he's going to go against the grain after he makes the pass. Watch it happen. There's the flow to the rim, the flow to the rim, the pass, the pop. Cousins, triple team. Wall is open for three. And Cousins got it back and put it home. Did we mention he'd probably be a factor in the second half? Stewart for three. Got it. Barry Stewart, the all-time leading three-point shooter. In Bulldog history, Cousins the other way, in a hurry. 
John Wall right down the pike. Up, under, in. That is what makes John Wall, John Wall. Because they deleted his drive, but he refused to give up on it. Forced himself to the... Cousins works against Bernardo, draws a double team, and that left Patterson coming in the back door. Remember the first possession of this ball game, Cousins got doubled and didn't know what to do. Well, the big guy, Demarcus Cousins, learning, as Jimmy said. And the birthday boy, Patrick Patterson, hammers it home for his 13th point. All the guys on the floor, with the exception of Bernardo, can strike from deep. They're all good shooters. There's Patrick Patterson says, what Bernardo does, I can do as well. A shocker, as they did a year ago. Bledsoe had to adjust his shot twice and got it off. John Wall ran into him or what? Watch this. Yeah, you're right about the adjustment from Brownsville and Barry Stewart from Shelbyville, Tennessee. Stevenson on a trailer from Wall. Everybody getting in the act and John Wall. These guys aren't going yes. anywhere. Good call. Bledsoe for the lead. Got it! Some feisty catch too, huh? Dodson, three. Off the mark. Patterson keeps it alive and scores. It is a tough spot. So tough it was stolen by Wall. And he scores! The most difficult place to inbounds the basketball to close out a game in front of the other team's bench. Lead down to one. About two seconds difference. Shot clock and game clock. Foul on Blitzo. Don't want to run to that corner, but because the court has been cut into a third, sometimes you're forced to go to this direction. A bad pass, and John Wall, his progression as a... And he missed it. Kentucky has got the ball. Down just one. SEC Tournament Championship is at hand in the next 20 seconds. Will Cal take a timeout? He told us earlier this year he doesn't want to save him in his back pocket. Wall. Short. Mississippi State's got the rebound and a quick foul. Barry Stewart again. How many big rebounds? Has that young man come up with today? It's the best three-point shooter Mississippi State has ever seen. Right now, he just wants free throws, and he got one. Kentucky will have a chance. Down the road, have a lot of pressure to deal with, Brad. Stewart got them both, but Kentucky is only three down. With eight seconds left, here they come. And there goes another timeout for John Calipari. Here we go. Eight seconds. Cousins to inbound to Bledsoe. Stewart's on his hip. Bledsoe is fouled, and Stewart fouls him with 4.9 to go. That is a great job of fouling by Mississippi State. You take that one, and now do you miss this one on purpose? They have time to make still, I think, and foul quickly. They're going to miss it. He missed it. Wall has got it. The shot will count, but it's short. Oh, wait a minute, Cousins. It's good. It's good. It's good. They'll go to the monitors to make sure. Tom Eads. And Ted Valentine are at the monitor. From here, it looked good. Miss, first of all, by Eric Bledsoe to get that thing up softly. You see Tom Eads say good, good, and he says good again. Overtime in Nashville. How bad do you want it? How bad do you need it? We need five more minutes. Big part of it. Freshman finishes it off. The SEC Tournament on ABC continues after this message and a word from our ABC stations. A hand on it. Whoa, Ian Orton get tangled up. We got bodies all over the place. Four on four the other way. John Wall tips. They're going to call goaltending on Turner, I think. There was his defensive play. 
Got a tip of it, didn't he, on the way down? Right there. Right there. Yep. Right there. Turner only 6'3", gives you all he can. John Wall trying to get in the middle of the floor. Bledsoe will, and score! And here he goes. Kick out. Ramon Harris back to Wall. Wall's got a force one, and it goes! They work it around. Johnson trying to get open for a three. Missed it. Tip. Bernardo missed it. Again, inside and finally it up there. Can go make you a play. John Wall can go make you a play. What a shot. You see the reaction up, Jimmy. This isn't the NBA, but 5.8 still a lot of time. It is. Kentucky with pressure to get it in. Mississippi State can go for a steal and a quick foul, and there it is. There's the quick foul from Boss. It'll send the guy they'd like to have at the free throw line more than last. CC. Wow. Missed it. Now the all-important one. Remember, Mississippi State, the best three-point shooting team in the conference, and one of the best in the land, if the second free throw doesn't go. And it doesn't, no it does. He got it. A thud on the back of the rim might be his second big shot of the day. Beanock is good at the buzzer, but it's not enough. The Cats prevail over the Dogs. Another SEC tournament title for the Big Blue of Kentucky. And was it enough for Mississippi State in a valiant effort to make the NCAA the problem for them today? They ran into a wall. John Wall. How bad do you want it? How bad do you need it? Mississippi State left it all on the floor. But again, John Calipari, on the first day of practice, he pulled me over and said, Jimmy, I'll take talent over experience any time in March. And the talent got it done today for Kentucky. And there's a lot of talent in that young body. Our ING player of the game is John Wall. You saw his numbers. His desperation three in the waiting moments of overtime gave him just the cushion they needed. And the other freshman, the freshman of the year, DeMarcus Cousins, with one free throw that they desperately needed for the difference in the ball. Kentucky 75. Mississippi State 74. I want to thank all the folks in Nashville, Commissioner Slive and the SEC. We've had a good time at Bridgestone Arena. That's going to do it. Don't forget Celtics and Cleveland Cavaliers are coming up next. Don't forget an all-new Lost on Tuesday at 9, 8 Central. For Jimmy Dykes and Janine Edwards, Brad Nessler, the SET champions are the Wildcats of Kentucky.